Hello, hello. Today we're going to talk about how to prepare for the holidays to avoid the holiday blues. Um, so there are 10 different things that I recommend to my patients to do uh, in preparation for this time of the year. Number one will be to be grateful about you making it. You got to December and, uh, and many of us um, tend to ignore that fact. Uh, if we look around, there are many people who, for whatever reason, they couldn't make it. Accidents, um, illnesses, uh, and other uh, reasons of why they didn't make it, and they're not with us anymore. But you are with us, and because you are with us, I think we need to be grateful about that. Number two is about, uh, be clear about what you want to do. Some people might want to be by themselves. They want to be with themselves and that's perfectly all right and some people want to be part of the collective so whatever you want to be you want to be uh, with yourself or you want to be part of the collective that would be great number three if you want to be part of the collective ask people to invite you to events ask uh, tell people that you want to be with them uh, make plans to be with those people who are important in your life um, do not wait for them to invite you you take control you tell them, I want to see you. I want to make time for you. I want us to spend some quality time. So when you do that, you will see the positive response that you get from people. Sometimes people invite you over events, uh, over and over, but after a while they decide to give up and they don't invite you anymore. So this time, do something different. Take control over that. Number four, exercise. Um, Exercise 30 minutes. You don't need to exercise two hours, three hours at the gym. You could just uh, go uh, to the park nearby your house, go to uh, around the block a few times. Um, exercise and you will see the difference. You will see how you feel and you will see how your body reacts to that exercise. So if you exercise, you'll be able to start seeing the physical and emotional change within you. Number five. Uh, be in contact with your higher power. Um, have um, a more closely relationship with the higher power. Whatever you call it, I call it God, but you might call it the universe. So whatever you call your higher power, um, be in contact with that. Feel uh, protected by it. Feel surrendered by it. Feel um, the positive energy that your higher power will be able to provide to you. So uh, be in contact with your higher power uh, more closely will help you to feel better during these holidays. Um, number six will be um, evaluate your thoughts. Do not catastrophize. Um, stop negative thoughts. Replace negative thoughts. I have a negative thought. Stop it. Take it out. And replace it with a positive thought. Um, replacing is important. Um, you know, if you are stuck thinking, oh, I'm too fat, I'm too old, I'm too poor, I'm too uh, lonely, I'm too... Uh, replace it with, um, I am good enough, I have qualities, I have a good sense of humor, I have a positive view of my life, I have, I'm alive. So, change your negative thoughts with positive thoughts. Um, if you're going to uh, use mood altering substances, do not abuse them. For people who might be using alcohol or marijuana or any other mood altering substances, do not abuse them during the holidays. Uh, be mindful of that um, and then uh, make the corrections. Uh, monitor yourself. Um, tell your friends to check on you to make sure that you're not abusing them and then uh, and you will see the difference um, create a short-term goal short-term goal i'm talking about something that you can accomplish in 30 days um, could be a short-term goal could be about talking to your family um, once a week for the next 30 days talking to your best friend twice a week for the next 30 days spend more time with your pet um, maybe uh, twice a week or maybe three times a week or maybe daily um, do so, some short-term goals that you can accomplish in the next 30 days. Um, 
Number nine, share your short goals with your friends so your friends could check when, uh, could check on you, so your friends could provide you support on a regular basis. Uh, in that way, you do not get off uh, the wagon, as they say, and uh, and they will keep you in track. Um, so when you do that, you'll be able to see that you start making some some changes. And number ten, write down your emotions. Write down your behaviors. Uh, write down your relationships. Um, get your thoughts out of here. Then they're just dancing and dancing and dancing. And put it on a piece of paper. And then um, a few days later, a week later, you can read them again. And then you'll be able to see the whole thing uh, from a different perspective. So if you follow these 10 different behaviors uh, and this uh, 10 different ways of uh, approaching the holidays, you will have a good uh, holiday season, okay? Next time, love yourself, take care of yourself, respect others, and uh, request to be respected, and have a great holiday season. Bye-bye.